DeepSky Stacker is a free window software for stacking Astro images. There are also other free stacking software, both for Mac and Windows, by the way. I will leave their download links in the description below that you can download which one you like. After transferring all the files into our computer, I will click Open Pictures Files. As you can see, I separated my dark and bias calibration frames into three different folders. So I won't mix them up. These are my pictures that I took of the Gal Galaxy Andromeda. I choose it all by Ctrl A or Command A. In the next step, I will go get my dark calibration frames, exact same process. Choose all, select open. We're skipping the uh, the flat frames this time and we will go with my bias frames. I will choose all my bias frames and open. And you need to click check all because in default it does not check all your pictures. And click register, check pictures. These are some recommendations in advanced settings. Uh, this is how I use basically. You can choose whichever you like. Press OK. And this process uh, will take some time. It might take to 45 minutes, one hour, maybe more, depending on your uh, uh, speed of your computer. When stacking is done, it would look like this. That's completely normal. You can close the, the app uh, because it's, it is already saved in your picture files folder. As it's saved as autosave. Right click, open with Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you can download from official Adobe website with, with the 30 days free trial. So the first thing I'm going to do is switching to 16 bit, bit from 30, 32 bits. We don't need that much information, I guess. If you have that window, you can choose exposure and gamma and press OK. I will crop the image and center our object. A little better you can press C which is a crop tool or you can choose a crop tool from your toolbox crop it and I will also rotate the the image upside down because it looks like a upside down galaxy the important thing in here is actually making it super simple press ctrl j or command j on max to duplicate layer and i will name it levels because all i'm gonna do today is basically levels it's called stretching process adjustment and levels you can also use a shortcut for levels you don't have to do this all the time which is ctrl l or command l it will bring the same windows All I'm trying to do is actually stretching this information in this white or white gray area. So 
we can see more details in the dark. Press OK. Repeat this pro the same process again and again, maybe 10 times. As you can see the, the image is a little red so you can go to top and choose the red level and adjust your reds same thing for green and blue That's okay. I will crop it again because I have some vignetting closer to the edges. So just to get rid of it. I will go to camera raw filter to add more uh, a little bit more contrast also I want to add some detail and sharpening by the way these are my settings it doesn't have to be this way it might not work on your specific image. The only thing is that you, I'm just showing you the simple way how you do the grading so you can adjust however you like depending on your picture. So find the best settings for yourself is the, the best answer for color grading I just want to add some highlights and white and pull down the exposure a little lower and press OK. Yeah, that looks better. And the last thing I'm going to do is the curves, which is adding more contrast. Um, I will create two dots and Create this S shape a little higher on the mid tones and darker in the lower spectrum. Press OK. It looks pretty good to me. I have a lot of details, the clouds surrounding the galaxy. The only problem I have this weird chromatic aberration that purple blue fringing but there's a way to get rid of this easily by you can go to your select color range press the eyedropper tool with the plus sign on it and just click on the colors that you want to get rid of press ok Go to select, modify, and expand this selection area by one pixel. And edit fill with content aware. Make sure this is saying content aware. Press OK. Yeah, as you can see that got rid of this purple fringing uh, you can press command D or 
uh, Ctrl D in Windows on Windows. That's basically it.